Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm filming this on the same day I filmed my FabFitFun unboxing because I'm wearing the same bold lip color. I changed my shirt though, so at least there's that. So I am going to be unboxing the April Boxy Charm today, and it is like May 4th. So I feel like it's not too late to be doing April things. So basically, I cut the tab on this, like that little bottom tab thing. I might have opened it, but I don't believe I even like opened any packaging or anything. I'm not sure if I actually looked at what was in the box either. Either way, this is Boho Glow. That is the theme for this month's box. So here's a little overview of the box. First thing on the top of the box is these sponges from Pure. And I actually have never tried anything from the brand Pure. Obviously, you would want to get it wet when you're actually using it. But it's kind of cool. It says Pure on the side of the sponge there. And I totally need new sponges anyways. Because my Real Technique sponge is like beyond old. And like stained with foundation. It's gross. And I don't know why I haven't gone to Kohl's yet to buy a new one for like $5. These are super cute colors though. Like mint yellow and like a magenta dark pink they feel really soft this one has like an edge i think they're all the same but they have like a little edge on there which is good for like the under eye and getting in all your little obviously you would want to get it wet to do your foundation but it feels pretty squishy they are called blend squad three-piece contour blending sponges that set costs 36 dollars so next got some bubble wrap Now that that's out of my system. Looks like we get an Ofra highlight and I'm not even gonna act surprised. That's the reason why I bought this box is because the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter is $35 and the box is $21 if you pay monthly. It's a no-brainer. I wanted this highlight and I wasn't gonna buy it for $35. It is beautiful. It's like stamped all pretty. I'm gonna give it a nice little swirl. Hol holy crap. Okay. I might have done that for a little bit too long. I am going to swatch it. My hand is like super red right now because I was just scrubbing off this lip kit that I was swatching. So it isn't showing up super good on my hand. I'm not sure how much that will show up on camera. I mean on my finger, obviously, it looks amazing. I'm going to apply it to my cheek even though I'm already wearing the Tarte Sparkler Highlight. Holy crap, that is nice. That's almost a little bit too much, but it's okay. Put some on my nose. I like it. Now I need to put some on my other cheek so I don't look totally uneven. Opening things with acrylic nails is such a struggle. I actually have been applying highlight with my fingers lately, even powder, because I just feel like it gets such an intense look. I feel like my brush kind of eats the highlight and doesn't put it on my face. My finger just like pats it on. So I feel like that is very intense. I don't know why it doesn't swatch very good, but it looks great. I know that highlight is super hyped, or it was when it first came out. I don't know, it's been out for like a while, but I can see why. Very intense. And like I said, that highlight is 35 bucks retail, so great deal right there. Next we have... This hair girt shampoo, smoothing yogurt shampoo, strawberry banana with prebiotics, quinoa, and super botanicals for healthy hair, sulfate and paraben free. For unruly, frizzy, and dry hair. My hair is oily, not very unruly, but if it's strawberry banana, I feel like it's gonna smell amazing. Mmm, that smells really good. It does smell like a strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, I just want to sit here and smell that. That's all I want to do. That smells amazing. I actually just ran out of shampoo, so good timing. And that retails for $10. So, I mean, it's not like an expensive item, but it is an expensive or shampoo. I have to open this. But next, we got a cargo, a cargo lip gloss. Tweezers always do the trick if you can't open the little serrated packaging. So, this retails for $16. And the shade is Taos. I honestly almost thought it said tacos because it's tacos but without the C. So it's Taos. And you can tell that it's dinner time. So it looks like a really cool color actually. So you can't really see it too well but it's swatched right there. And it's like a mauve. It's very cool toned. It's like a very light mauve lavenderish. It looks kind of sheer. Like you can't, you can kind of see where it is but it's not 
super pigmented. I should wear this with like a nude lipstick and see how that looks. I don't have a color that looks anything like this, so that is exciting. And the last thing we get in the box is this concealer collection by Measurable Difference, and you get 16 concealers. This would probably be good if you were doing like freelance makeup because you would have all kinds of different shades. So it looks like this is $19.99. Creamy, blendable formula, melts into the skin. I'm just gonna open it up. I think it's magnetic, it feels like. The packaging feels kind of like an Anastasia contour kit. So it looks a little bit oily. Like I can kind of see like grease sitting on top of some of the shades. So they feel very very creamy but not super pigmented like swatching with my finger i kind of swatched um cream and vanilla right there i'm going to try taking my little tiny concealer brush and i will do a little swatch with that because maybe that'll work better yeah that worked a bit better like that's my little swatch from my little real techniques concealer brush I would like to test this out I'm going to put it underneath my brows I think um, I'll just take that cream shade and hope for the best I just want to see how it works since I didn't really clean up my brows today I will clean them up like underneath so that looks pretty good um, since I'm already wearing like my full face of foundation and everything I can't really like conceal a blemish so the best I can do is underneath my eyebrows but it applies pretty good I don't think it did a whole lot because my eyebrows I just tweezed them today and I was pretty clean about my um, it cosmetics pencil usage so there wasn't much to clean up but I think it looks pretty good. I did this brow and not this one. Not a huge difference. Kind of funny it's called measurable difference. <laughs> I'll have to give this a try as actual concealer. I feel like it wouldn't be good for underneath your eyes. But for like blemishes and stuff I could see it. Maybe like contouring. Let me try the darkest shade Espresso. So that looks pretty good. I mean there's all kinds of uses. It's definitely not my favorite item from the box. I'm sure I'll use it you know. So that is everything for the April 2017 BoxyTorm unboxing and give this a thumbs up if you like unboxing videos. I do a lot of them. Leave a comment with your favorite item from the box this month or tell me if you get BoxyTorm too. I do when I like the box. That's just how I am. Like I don't subscribe to anything every month except for Ipsy but otherwise I kind of play it by ear and decide if I want to subscribe for that month or not, which means that sometimes they get put on the waitlist. Better than wasting 20 bucks on a box that I'll hate, which usually the boxes are pretty amazing anyways. I don't have the kind of money to pay for that every single month. This month, though, was very intriguing for the highlighter, and I'm very glad that I got it. So that's it for today's video, and I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.